The idea for the mashup of visual styles came right out of the core concept for the game. Once you start throwing things together from 80 years of history, you're going to have stylistic inconsistencies. Once you've got a mashup from a, a thematic standpoint, it didn't take a super genius to say, hey, let's do that visually too. We have about five different art styles in the game. There is that inspired by feature films, classical, beautiful look. There is the short subject look in the 2D platforming sections. But we also have CGI, intro and end game, really, you know, computer rendered graphics. A lot of our storytelling moments are told in a style that, that looks like uh, storyboards or concept art brought to life. There are all these different styles coming together, but in a game that's supposed to be a mashup of 80 years of Disney history, why shouldn't the art style be a mashup too? It took us a little bit to get our head wrapped around, you know, how we wanted to mash up some of these inspirations, you know, the, the Haunted Mansion from every different park, as well as, you know, the Lonesome Ghost cartoons. How do those fit together? Different animators from different periods animated differently. So we had an interesting challenge of how to merge all the different styles together. You know, stylistically, you can, you can figure that out, but from a game design standpoint, the characters that you're going to use and the mechanics and the gags from the old films and the rides, and, and how do you put these together in an interesting way that's going to keep the player pushing through to explore all of the little nooks and crannies to find out where those inspirations lie. I'm hoping people will accept that because most games go for a consistent, you know, style start to finish and I very specifically didn't want to do that. I wanted to be inspired by a variety of Disney styles because we had a variety of Disney styles to draw from. My favorite thing about the visual design is uh, how beautiful each of the individual elements is and how well they actually do fit together. Our story sequences really do look like Mary Blair's art brought to life. And our CGI cinematics, they're really powerful. There's like these established sets of rules that people just accept when it comes to a game world. When you make a cartoon game world, all bets are off because in cartoons, Things don't do what everyone normally assumes they're gonna do. So we're working with like getting the player to understand the rules of the cartoon universe and then how to express themselves through those rules. We've got these 2D travel sections that are really kind of classic platforming adventures. And there are a lot of them and they occupy a fair amount of screen time, of play time. And those are inspired directly by the short cartoons. I want players to feel like they're in Steamboat Willie and in um, Lonesome Ghosts and in Clock Cleaners. The 3D zones in Disney Epic Mickey, those are the bigger spaces or the more wide open spaces and the 2D transition levels basically connect the 3D spaces. So they're meant to be a little bit of a, a whimsical breather. Those have a really cool animated style that works well in their kind of re-envisioning and revitalization of some of these characters. You're gonna have black and white characters next to color characters. You're gonna have animatronics next to character costumes that are all moth-eaten, you know, and, and kind of decrepit looking. You're gonna have musical styles from 1928 all the way up to today. But as long as the player enjoys looking at it, enjoys traversing it, has some fun, you know, gets to interact, if we hit all those things, I think we've got a good level. The games that are most successful are the ones that come closest to that picture I had in my head when I started. Uh, and this one, um, it was a pretty modeled picture. That's all I can say. It, it was, I, I really just approached this more as a DJ spinning records, you know, taking two tunes that don't belong together. Each sounds good on its own, but they sound like something completely different when you combine them.